After days of playing cat and mouse with the US authorities, Edward Snowden's been tracked down to the transit area of Moscow Airport. It's believed he spent another night here. But while President Putin confirmed the former spy's whereabouts, he also bluntly refused to extradite him to the US, saying he hadn't committed a crime on Russian soil. None of this has pleased the United States. We would hope that uh, uh, as a nation, as a sovereign nation, uh, Russia would not see its interests in siding with a... Uh, with a, with a person who is accused of breaking the law in another nation and who is a fugitive from justice according to international standards of law. And relations with China haven't fared much better. The US thinks Hong Kong officials acted on Beijing orders when they let him leave the territory. But China denies this, saying the accusations are groundless and unacceptable. It's embarrassing that someone of this type could have been entrusted with so many secrets. It's embarrassing that someone did what he did uh, without being detected. And then, and then finally, at a geopolitical level, it's embarrassing that two countries with whom we're trying to have good relations seem to be so dismissive of American concerns and, in my view, very legitimate American concerns. The whole episode has led to calls in the U.S. for changes to who it trusts with its secrets. So where next for Edward Snowden? Ecuador is currently looking at his request for asylum and now Venezuela says they would also consider any request he made to them. But the United States hasn't given up the chase yet. Julie Peacock, BBC News.